with how many hands was Moshe holding the tablets? In Parshat Kitisa, we are told how Moshe came down from the summit of Mount Sinai with the Ten Commandments in his hands. And then when he saw the Israelites worshipping the golden calf, the Torah says, Vayashlech miyadav et haluchot. He cast threw the tablets down from his hands. But the word miyadav from his hands is missing a yud. And therefore, literally, it can be read as miyado from his hand. What sense can we make of this? Rabbi Yisrael Salanta gives a marvelous perush. This is how he puts it. Moshe had two tablets. One which was held in his right hand was the tablets with the laws between ourselves and Hashem. One which he held in his left hand, the laws between ourselves and our fellow human beings. And that's how Moshe came down the mountain. When he saw the Israelites worshipping the calf, he recognized that they were breaking the first two of the commandments. We have to believe in Hashem. We cannot worship any idols. These were the commandments which were in the tablet held by his right hand, and therefore the thought crossed his mind. Vayashlech miyado, that he would cast that tablet down from his hand, because what they were doing didn't relate to the mitzvot between themselves and others. But then Moshe realized that actually we should never separate the two tablets because ultimately our responsibility towards our fellow human beings must always be seen as an integral part of our relationship with Hashem. And that's why Vayashlech Miyadav, he cast down the tablets from both of his hands. Here we have yet another reminder of the centrality of our responsibility towards others within the mitzvot of the Torah. Because ultimately what Hashem wants of us is to have a full, deep, and meaningful relationship with Him and at the same time to always see our responsibility to others as being part of our belief in Hashem. Shabbat Shalom.